Now that we have an image that it's okay for us to use because it's a Creative Commons image, we're going to learn how to do some very basic editing on it. You can use Photoshop if that's installed on your computer, but a quite good online tool is PIXLR, PIXLR, I guess how that said, .com, and if you put in slash editor, it'll take you straight through it. So you can see this address up here. So I'm going to open the image that I've already saved. So let's go in and have a quick look at my desktop and look for the image called Penguin. By the way, there's a number of images there that I could use perfectly legally because I in fact created them. So a great way to have stuff that you're in perfect shape with is to in fact create it yourself. So here is my image of the penguin. Now there's any number of things I can do, but what I am in fact going to do is I'm going to say canvas size, sorry, image size, and I'm going to take it down to, I want it to be 200 by 200 pixels ultimately. So let's pick the smallest of those, which is in fact the width in this case. I'm going to set it to 200. So it's going to be 200 by 258. Now constrained proportions means don't squish it. And please don't squish your images. It looks dreadful. So there we go. Now as you can see, my penguin is very small. So I'm going up to view and I'm going to say actual pixels. And there we go. As you see down the bottom here, it's 200 pixels wide by 258 tall. But the task is to make it 200 by 200. So what I'm in fact going to do is copy this image. So edit, copy. And I'm going to get a new image, which I'm also going to call, call Penguin. Actually, I'm going to call Penguin 2. Now, I'm going to make it 200 by 200. So it's exactly the size that I want. And then, when I edit, paste it in, Let's see if that works. Hmm, didn't seem to work. Let's have a quick look here. Uh, maybe I need select all, so I've selected the image. Maybe that's what I forgot to do. Then copy, go over here and paste. Now, as you can see, the image is in fact um, there, but it's only 200 by 200, and I can move it around a bit so that I can crop it for the, the size that I want. So there you go. There is the 200 by 200 image that I wanted of that Creative Commons image that we found of the penguin. So now what I'm going to do is go File, Save, Save a JPEG, um, Penguin 2 JPEG. JPEG's fine. I'm actually going to save it as a PNG because it gives me slightly better quality at this point. And I'm going to click on OK. And I'm going to save that to the desktop. And so now on the desktop, uh, I have a lot of images on my desktop, so let's um, see if we can find it. In fact, that's the desktop there, Penguin 2. And when we open it up, there is the image that we've created. So that's how you do that.